What is up everyone? So today I have a review on the Coleman cot. Uh, this one's basically an instant cot. It's a queen size and it has an air mattress on top. Everything you need to go camping um, and be comfortable is included in this package. So what you're going to get is the frame. You're going to get some side uh, mount stuff. So that way you can put beverages and stuff in there. You're going to get your pump, which runs on 4D batteries. And then you're going to get the air mattress with the sheet that it tucks into and we'll set it up and see how easy it is to set it up whether or not it's right for you to purchase and around the price point that it comes in at so let's get into this review and see what it's all about okay, so the bag setup you have here is pretty robust it's a real thick uh, material you have some um, feet at the bottom uh, that are riveted onto this bag material and then some wheels to roll it around. It does not stand up nicely uh, because there's no support on the back that kind of keeps it solid. But if you do wheel it, it does wheel really nice. Um, if you're in terrain, that might be a different issue uh, when rolling it. So you got two holding handles here. And then when you unzip it, of course you got a little bit of slack, but we'll see how hard it is to put it back in once we take it out. First thing you greet it with is your wireless uh, pump that we got to hook 4D batteries into it. Uh, so one's an exhaust and one's a, the air filler side of it. So what it does is it takes in air and pumps it out through the mattress and then it should be reversible to suck it out so you should be able to go like that and then it'll draw the air out of your mattress and then push it out so that way you can hunker it down and pack it away so that's that part of it these feel like they're the side panels uh, for when you want your beverage and stuff to hang off the side this feels like the mattress part of it it packs up really nicely and then this is your the cot itself so it's all together as one unit uh, you do have a plastic base here uh, for your your transport wheel setup but as you can see it's already bent so it's a real thin piece of plastic so it's really not that stout all right, one thing I, re I recommend doing is making sure you get a pump that's perfect for you uh, in a sense of if you don't like carrying these big D batteries around, you're going to need a new pump, okay? They have one, Coleman has one, where it's battery operated and it's it has an internal battery uh, that you can recharge. The one thing I don't like about that is after a season, it could potentially die and is no longer usable. They do make one with the cigarette lighter that's really fast and that's something I recommend because you could just plug it into your car. Um, but then again, you don't have the portability option like this one gives you. But I mean, since you already got this, you might as well keep it with you. And if you forget the batteries, at least you'll have the cigarette one uh, to go back on. So the first thing you want to do is pop these clips off to the side and then now you could just insert the batteries. So it looks like negatives right here. Let me put these in real quick. And then there's a positive. And then negative. And then positive down. Okay. And this is already getting heavy because these batteries are pretty big. This cot will run you around a little under $200. Um, I actually got it for 120. Typically the, uh, the twin size is 120. Target actually had them cheaper than Walmart themselves. Uh, it's not that strong of a pump. It's a small motor. It seems like it's going to take a while to pump up, but mind you, this is a cot. So your air mattress is a lot smaller. Uh, whereas if you got the double pumped up, uh, air mattress setup, um, it's going to take a lot more air to pump it up. So, I mean, you don't really need something that fast due to its volume that you got to pump up. It's a lot tinier. Okay. So first of all, let's get this set up and these are the legs. So 
or I believe they're the legs. All right, so it looks like it just, wow. It just pops out directly really fast. So let me turn this around so that way you could see how it un, like unshelled itself. So it's gonna fold in like so, right? You're gonna fold it out. These legs fold out and as you lift everything up, everything folds out on its own, okay? So that's that part of it. So it seems like this got a cam. So what you're gonna need to do is lay this down first. And then the weight pushing down is gonna lock it in place. Okay. Okay, so the cot itself doesn't actually clip into place. It just relies on the weight of the whoever's gonna be laying on here. And then of course you got your uh, sheet that's sewn into the fabric that's integrated into it. And then you have your, um, your bladder, which is gonna go inside. So this is your air mattress. And then what you're gonna need to do is tuck it in first. So that way it could air up and then expand outward. You got these holes here that you could pull the air mattress kind of through. You could air it up to begin with just to get it a little bit more firm so that way it's easier to drag through but you want to make sure your valves on this side where the zipper is so that way you could air it up and then from here you pull it straight out and then you hook up your pump so we'll let that air up like so and see how long it takes. So once the pump uh, reaches a certain point, it's no longer going to be able to air up and the air is going to start pushing back through the intake part of it. And that's how you know you're pretty much uh, to the max uh, fill capacity with this pump. So you could hear the, uh, the thing purging back and forth. That means that it's pretty much full. What you want to do is push in on the tab and it locks it and then you put in your cap and then that seals the rest of it. And then now you could zip all this up. And then that's what it looks like when it's fully compressed together. Okay, so inside this pouch here, you get your little side tables. Uh, they're gonna go on the side where this slit is. And this is so that way you could allow it to expand while you zip it up uh, once it's fully inflated. Also, you could replace this air mattress by just uh, buying another one of the same size, queen size. And these right here will cam out, so they're all metal. They create a stout little fixture there. You have these little hangers here. On this side, there's two slots that these just slide into, like so. And now you could put your cold brew on the side or your glasses, keys, whatever in the pocket, and you're set. There's one for his and hers. So there's two of them that you could set up. Uh, and then for the weight capacity, it could handle 600 pounds. Uh, so 600 pounds total is max of what it recommends that you use. Uh, I'm about 200 and we'll see. 
That's what it feels like. So I'm about six foot one, 200 pounds, and I mean, the length's pretty good. And then when there's another person over here, it'll kind of level it out. So you're not so much in a hole. Um, the cot itself uh, will kind of bow in in the center if you're off to the side. And that's only because there's nothing to actually flatten this stuff out. Uh, there's a rib here, a rib here, and a rib over here, and then everything else accordions out. So if you were sleeping on this by yourself, you probably want to stay in the center. So that way you get the full support of that one single rib instead of laying in the hole. But if you have two people, it'll distribute the weight and you also want this as flat as possible. So that way it doesn't allow it to cave in. Um, this fabric here is not as tough as the singles by themselves that stand upright. Uh, it's kind of stretchy a little bit more. Uh, I also think that you need a, a stronger pump because the, the stronger the pump, you could actually put more air in here. As you see, it's really easy to pinch. So one thing I do recommend is doing this maybe outdoors in the sun. So that way your fabric has the full potential of stretch, especially when this uh, material here, this PVC style material um, gets warm. It allows it to stretch a little bit. So you want to stretch it out, fill it up, let it stretch, maybe put some weight on it. And then eventually it'll get to close to the max uh, stretch but at least you'll pre-stretch it before you go camping and you can make it a lot stiffer. But also a stronger pump will actually allow this to uh, inflate a lot more and be a lot more firm. So I do recommend upgrading the pump itself. Uh, one major upgrade that I think they should do is reevaluate how they got this um, uh, sheet material. I think it could be a little bit more durable. You see some uh, fraying, uh, just do poor quality control I mean for the price I got it at it wasn't too bad but if you're paying full retail on this thing uh, I definitely recommend considering you know what you're purchasing and uh, actually I mean actually looking for a better price don't pay full retail because uh, there's a little corks that you're gonna have to deal with um, the pump to upgrade the pump you're looking at I'd say around maybe $13, $15 for the one that plugs into the car, uh, about $30 or $40 for the one that has an internal battery um, in it. And uh, maybe the air mattress, uh, if you're not set on this and you actually have a, a queen size air mattress that's a single stack, uh, maybe use that instead of this one here because this one does feel a little bit thinner than your typical ones. Uh, but that's going to complete today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see content like this and other content I'll be posting in the near future, definitely consider subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.